Hey everybody, welcome to the Spy Corner for those joining us for the very first time. Welcome you, welcome. It is my birthday! Well, at the time of filming this video, it's my birthday. I'm getting ready to go out. This is the look. And so, yeah, stay tuned to show you how I got my birthday ah, 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 look together. And yeah, I colored my hair. I'm explaining it in the video. Another bleached, but yes. Don't forget to show me some love by subscribing to the channel and leave me a comment down below. Hi, how's it going? How did it turn out? Do I look cute yet? Hey, everybody, welcome to the Square Corner. Those joining us for the very first time. birthday to me colored my hair yes i have a new short look it looks very different my eyebrows also <sighs> what happened i was basically just busy bleaching one of my wigs is like not lace front frontal and i had a lot of bleach and i was like mm, it would be interesting to see what my hair would look like and so i colored or well, bleached my hair not for too long. I really want them to get a little bit more whiter. Um, so I'll probably do that in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, but for now, I like this random look. While I go in with my sunscreen. I had a comment in one of my beauty videos. And I was going a little bit too fast for some people. So I am going to try and go a little bit slower. I start this whole look off with my eyebrows, of course. I'm going to start because it's going to be like a long day and I know because we're going out I'm going to use this got to be glue spray and I'm going to just use a spoolie and I'm going to try and make them stay it just makes it stay a little bit more I swear I can have like a drinking game for the literally part so it's just to brush up my eyebrows to make sure that they stay I wonder if you can even see them properly you'll see them now why did i also <laughs> bleach my eyebrows because i just thought the black looked too mm, in your face with the with the the hair and i wanted a little bit of like uniformity in a sense and i think it looks nice like this because i think it would look weird if my eyebrows were really dark and my head is this color um and then of course i go in with the liner definer gel from signature focus baby and I am going to use brown there and that red there. basically how the eyebrow looks like and then I go in with a very light um, concealer this is the pretty by Flomar I don't know why I'm, I gravitate towards this one more um, but before I go in with this one because again it's a part in the day and I need everything to stay put and not move I'm going to go in with this photo focus uh, wet and wild it is an oily matte primer and you use it on your lid to make sure that your eyeshadow stay put for people with oily lids and i just apply that at the bottom of my eyebrows because it already has a brush on the tip i just draw in with a brush like this and then i go in with a fluffy brush and that's the brush i'm just going to blend it downwards onto my lid that's basically it i know it looks weird right now but just watch it come together. I used the Jackie Aina palette. This is her collaboration with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's an old one. I bought it like maybe two years or so ago. And I'm going to use mostly just that brown there and that dark brown there. Because my dress is already so colorful, I want to make sure that my face is just uh, more natural and yet put together. I'm using a random brush. And with that brush, I just go into my card crease, into ginger. And ginger is the lighter shade of the brown that I mentioned. And I put that in my crease. So it's going to be nothing really fancy. It's just going to 
be a very simple eye. see the birthday vlog you will understand why this whole natural look makes a lot of sense okay and then I go in with BH cosmetics uh, this is the it's my Ray Ray palette also a very very old one and I'm using it to just sit just below my eyebrows and then I go in with the Huda Beauty neon palette and there is that yellow there it's not a shimmer it's very matte and i'm going to put that one just also below my eyebrows just so i can get rid of the whiteness mind you i'm using the same brush this is my zoeva brush and it is the something something crease brush I forgot the name and it's already like wiping off I've used it so many times and washed it um, but it's a nice stapling brush and that's all I'm using and for those two three shades that I use now it's basically same brush go back to the Jackie Anna palette and then I go in with that dark brown now with that dark brown I'm going to use a more blending brush a very thick one just for the edges there the blend goes basically very natural again it was going to look very pretty most of the what I was on the brush is, went on the side and whatever was is left is the one that I put a brush in between again it's almost like in my crease for my face for the primer I used the NYX total control drop primer this they discontinued most of these NYX products they used to be sold in cliques at the Grove I like this primer because it's a really matte primer and because it's already hot and I'm going to be out for a while and I need the product to stay so we are going with also do not run away from primers that are white they're going under your foundation some primers are just like that don't take away from the work that they do sunscreen it will here my face is already dry this is just for extra mm, protected protection because this is again going to be a very long day i decided to just go in with cream product instead of like watery product so i decided to go in with the color stay from revlon Now we blend. I don't really mind when the foundation come together because look at how beautiful they come together. Um, and so that's why I'm just blending. then with the damn beauty blender we blend in everything in nicely right I feel like I'm, I'm giving you a tutorial so just it's my birthday look <laughs> okay, I'm going to follow that up with oh, wait this dodo girl professional makeup loose powder i got this one from shining stone it's almost like a tinted but not yellow 
So instead of using my beauty blender, I'm going to use my trusted. What about this thing his name is? Because today we are going to try and bake. lashes before you ask me where i get my lashes guys i literally get my lashes from a good old china shop um beauty shop whatever is it's cheap i mean the way i go through lashes i rather like use my own you know like or cheaper ones because no i'm not spending that much money oh and then i use the hair bonding glue for the gluing of the lashes and the nice thing I like about this air bonding glue, it doesn't have to sit long at all. It's grey and dries black. So with it, I don't do the 30 second rule. Literally just apply the bonding glue and then apply the lash to my natural lashes. Lashes are on. Wipey wipey off here. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to go in with a much darker powder, and I'm going to definitely use my one from Hana Nangula Cosmetics. I mean, people who watch me have watched me review her powders before so I'll put the link in here somewhere and and you can just watch that review mm -hmm. so it's a almost dark Slightly like one shade darker than my natural skin tone. Again, we're trying to look snatched. Put on a little bit of blush and the blush i'm using is from my oshini eyeshadow palette it's all women warrior eye color yeah, it has that pink there that i really like to use and i usually mix it with the orange <laughs> Dark lip, and I'm using my La Chocolat from L'Oreal. Again, we're going nude, and then I'm just going to use a little bit of my concealer for the center of the lip. this is the look i have to go get ready for my birthday <laughs> celebration but yeah this is the outfit small earrings i'm just gonna put on my dress now and then we're basically done but yeah this is simple here i am hey i'll put everything in a vlog it's going to be a fun vlog i'm just like in my mind already it's like it's gonna be a fun vlog but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, don't forget to type happy birthday to me down and it's my birthday. <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go and have a good time.